The book of 2 Kings. Wafalme wa pili. Let's try 2 Kings chapter 6. Let's see whether this verse is there. Verse 16 and 17. Mustara 16 and 17. Verse 16 and 17. Maybe I, I never got it well, but yes, there it is. I got it right. <laughs> the prophet Nabi is in his house. The servant Mtumishi has gone out in the morning ready to prepare a cup of tea for the prophet. When he walks out, he sees they are surrounded. So, he is afraid. He goes back, tells the prophet, we are in trouble. And the prophet is not bothered. The prophet is telling him, don't be afraid. The prophet answered him, those who are with us are more. Those that are with us are more. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. It's a word. But you have to believe it for it to start working for you. The servant is afraid. The man of God is not. Why? Because his eyes are opened up. The point that I want to bring to you is this. What you and I need today is my eyes to be opened. Or tell your neighbor, neighbor, may your eyes be open. Because you see, it is when your eyes of understanding are open, then something will be it deposited in you, trying to echo in you that it is well. That God is going to give you victory. That God is going to help you. But even being told that God is coming to help you, you will still be scared and afraid until you know you open your eyes to see. So this guy, when he was told God to open his eyes, when he went outside, when he came back, there's a different story. Because he saw between them and the enemy, there were thousands upon thousands of angels with the swords and spears and burning fire. May God help you to see that they that are on our side are more than they that are on the other side. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Reasons why Amen. Reasons why I should not be afraid. And they are all found in the book of Isaiah chapter 41. Verse 8 to 14. This is what the Bible says. But you, Israel, my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, you, descendants of Abraham, my friend, you know, at that point, God is trying to tell him who he is. And he is identifying who Jacob is. He's saying, even you, you are descendant of my friend. In other words, my friend, you are the children of my friend. Do you know the children of my friend are like my children? So when the children of my friend are in problem, I will act like my children. Because they are my friend. And God is telling the children of Israel. I have chosen you first. But you are also friend, children of my friend. Are you not children of Abraham? We are children of Abraham. So the Lord is telling us he has chosen us. He has chosen us. But we are also the children of Abraham. We are children of the promise. Salimia jirani yako. Umuambie jirani. Tell him neighbor. Sisi ni wana wa ahadi. We are children of the promise. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. We are children of the promise. Wana wa ahadi. Why? Kwanini? Listen to what God is telling them. Sikia mungu wa nasema ni. I took you from the ends of the earth. Ili watua katika misingi ya dunia. From its farthest corners. Katika misingi ya kiona. I called you. Nika waita. And I said. 
nikasema you are my servant i have chosen you nimewachagua and i have not rejected you na sijawakataa no please preach to your neighbor ubiria jirani yako tell him neighbor mwambie jirani you are not rejected by god haujakataliwa na mungu don't allow that voice usiruhusi hiyo sauti that comes to speak to you at night ambaye anakunenea usiku at oy ya kwamba yewe wewe umesahaulika ya kwamba yewe been forgotten mungu akukumbuki god does not no, remember no, you no 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 hapana god has not rejected me mungu hajanikataa mimi because i am chosen kwa sababu nimechaguliwa i am a son or a daughter of his friend mimi ni mwana wa rafiki yake and he is repeating na anarejelea he has taken me amenichukua from sin kutoka kwa dhambi far away kutoka mbali and brought him to myself na kunileta mimi and i am not rejected na sijakataliwa mwambie jirani yako jirani hata labda hujui unakaa na nani. You don't know who you are sitting with. Wacha kuniangalia sasa. Don't look at me like that. Niangalie kesho. Look at me tomorrow. Hebu macho yako. Let your eyes. Yaweze kufunguka. To be open. Unione kesho. You see me tomorrow. Kesho yangu. My tomorrow. Hallelujah. Amen. Tumeimbiwa wimbo hapa na tukaabudu Mungu. Tukaabudu Mungu. We worship God. Kwa sababu huyo Mungu ni mkuu. Because that God is great. Wapi? Where would we be? tutakuwa wapi if it was not the lord kama sio bwana blessed be the name of the lord you're my Jalabu. servant i've chosen you and not rejected you wewe mtumishi wangu nimekuchagua na sijakataa anakuja na anasema do not fear umsiogope oh i like that remember where he started kumbuka alianzia wapi you are my children i have wangu. chosen you nimewachagua where israel was at that time kulikuwa na wakati they were in captivity walikuwa katika mateka it doesn't matter where i am now haijalishi niko wapi whether my mind is confused hata kama akili yangu imechanganyikiwa when i think about the economy nikifikiria uchumi you know it's crazy ni ya kushangaza do you know it is very crazy ni ya kushangaza sana i say just the other day siku tu iliyopita the dollar was 120 dola ilikuwa 120 now, sasa hivi is 167 if you are lucky ni 167 so you go to buy kitu kwa duka unaenda kununua kitu these duka. guys who go to take like my daughter there who goes to take to bring uh, merchandise wale ambao wanaenda wasafiri nje kuchukua vitu vya kuuza and then you, you, you had bought maybe a suit ulikuwa umenunua suti 25 Now they tell you that five. Sasa imeenda 35. Alafu unasema siwezi ninunua imekuwa ghali sana. You say I won't buy it too expensive. And they tell you when I brought it at 25 the dollar was 120. Nikileta katika 25 na dola ilikuwa 120. Now there is 47 that is been added on to it. Sasa kuna 47 imeongezeka juu. It's a third. Niki ni sehemu tatu. So so what The conversation the, the conversation we had was this. Mazungumzo ambayo tulikuwa nayo ni haya. Maybe I'll be speaking to you. Alikuwa anaongea na sisi. If I need it, nikihitaji. It doesn't matter how much. Haijalishi ni ngapi. God will take care of me. Mungu atashughulikia. I will not be afraid. Sitaogopa. Actually my big problem is tomorrow. Shida yangu tu ni kesho. But who told me I will be alive tomorrow? Lakini nani niambia nitakuwa hai kesho? Mananasi 200 lete ni irarue leo. Nijitetee nayo. I say amen. Sasa unagoja ukule mananasi mbinguni? You're waiting to eat uh, pineapples in the heaven. Hapana, takula hapa. Mm. I'll eat them here. Kile nitakuwa nikiomba. What I'll be praying for? Mungu. God, unisaidie. Help me. Hiki kidogo niko nacho. This more that I have. Ujumulishe. You multiply. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Si Mungu ni mpoa. God so do not fear. Usiogope. Why? For I am with you. Do, do not nini. be dismayed. Msikue na hofu. For I am your God. Mimi ni Mungu wenu. I will strengthen you. Nitawatia nguvu. And help you. Na niwasaidie. I will uphold you. Nitawainua. With my righteous right hand. Kwa mkono wangu wa haki. And all who rage against you. Wale ambao wanakuja kinyume yenu. Will surely be ashamed. Watakuwa wataibishwa. This grace. Na watanyanyaswa. Those who oppose you. Wale ambao wanawapinga. Will be as nothing. Wao wataumizwa. And perish. Na wataangamia. Though you search for your enemies. Wale ambao wanakuwa wadui wenu. You will not find them hautawapata those who wage war against you wala wanainua vita kinyume chenu nothing watakuwa bure nothing at all watakuwa bure kabisa for i am the lord kwa sababu mimi ni mungu you are god mungu wenu who takes hold of your right hand wala ambaye anawashika mkono wa kurume to you na ninawaambieni do not fear msiogope i will help you nitawasaidia listen 
Skiza. Verse number 14. Do not fear. Msiogope. Do not be afraid. Msiogope. You want Jacob. We mdudu Yakobo. Little Israel. Israel he mdogo. Come back and say do not fear. Msiogope. For I myself. Kwa kama mimi mwenyewe. I will help you. Nitakusaidia. Dis- declares the Lord. Wewe anatangaza Mungu. You are redeemer. Mkombozi wetu. The holy one of Israel. Mtakatifu wa Israeli. Why will I not be afraid? Kwa nini nisikwe na uoga? Hallelujah verse number 8 says Why should I not be afraid? Mbona nisiogope? Because you have been chosen. Kwa sababu umechaguliwa. Because he, you have been called. Kwa sababu umeitwa. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. And he has chosen me. Na amenichagua. And he has called me. Na amenita. Then I will inherit. So nitakuwa mrithi. What he says is his. Kila mbacho amesema ni chake. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. I will not fear. Sitaogopa. He says we are a chosen people. Wale ambao wamechaguliwa. First Peter 2 verse 9. Petero wa kwanza 2:9. Up to 10a. But you are a chosen people. Yinyi watu wa mama chaguliwa. A nation. Taifa takatifu. A people belonging to God. Wale ambao wanabasalia kwa Mungu. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Once you are not a people. Kama nyinyi ni watu. But no you are the people of God. Sasa nyinyi ni watu wa Mungu. Fear not. Msiogope. Because God has chosen you. Sasa Mungu amewachagua. God has called you. Mungu amewaita. To be his own. Mkwe wake. You are a people belonging to God. Nyinyi ni watu wa Mungu. You see mothers and fathers take care of their children. Mama na baba wanashughulikia watoto wao. They want to see the best of their children. Wataka kuona ubora wa watoto wao. Even when God says we are his. Mungu anasema ni wake. He will protect you. Atawa, he will watch over you. Atawalinda. When a storm comes, he will lift you up. Atawainueni. In the mighty name of the Lord. Katika jina la Bwana. So tell your neighbor. Mwambie jirani yako. Fear not. Usiogope. You have been chosen. Wewe ni mchaguliwa. God has called you. Mungu amekuita. When I know that God has called me. Nikiita ikijua Mungu ameniita. Know that God has chosen me. Na najua amenichagua. It doesn't matter my state. Haijalishi hali yangu. Because God looks at, Je- at Israel. Mungu anaangalia Israeli. And Jacob. Na Yakobo. And says you are a weak worm. Wewe ni mdudu mdogo. You are a kegunyo. Wewe ni mdudu mdogo. I like the way bishop says you are a kegunyo. Wewe ni kamdudu. Very fragile. Kale ambaye hakajiwezi. Kana kidole. Kana pasuka kana potea kila mahali. But it is not he is not uh, abusing Jacob. Hakuwa namtusi Jacob. He's trying to tell Jacob your status Jacob you are a weak person. Yeye hali yako wewe ni mdhaifu. But I will help you. Lakini nitakuinua. Now tell yourself I'm a weak person. Mimi ni mdhaifu. But God will help me. Lakini Mungu atanisaidia. You see victory ushindi is not my by my own strength. Sio uwezo wangu. It is by the grace of God. Ni kwa neema ya Mungu. Oh blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. This church is a little bit quiet today. Kanisa hili limenyamaza leo. Fear not. Siogope. This is what God is saying. We belong to God. Sisi ni wa Mungu. Fear not. Siogope. The Jews were in the old covenant. Wayahudi walikuwa katika agano. But we are in the new covenant. Sisi tuko katika agano mpya. We are called people of the new covenant. Tunaitwa watu agano jipya. We are special to God. Sisi ni wa kipekee kwa Mungu. We should not fear. Tusiogope. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. God has ways to turn around whatever has been chasing you. Mungu akona uwezo wa kigeuza mambo ambayo yalikuwa yanakuandama. So that you can run around and ask where wako wapi? Wao wako wapi? Unaweza kimia na useme wako wapi? Wako wapi hao? Where are they? Verse number 9. Mstari wa 9. Why I should not be afraid? Kwa nini nisiogope? Because God has said. Kwa Mungu amesema. He has not rejected me. Ya kwamba hajanikataa. You see Israel was in captivity. Waliwa katika mateka. You see Kenya we having problems. Sisi katika taifa la Kenya kuna shida. But God has not forgotten us. Lakini Mungu hajatusahau. Even in captivity. Hata katika mateka. God knew. Mungu alijua. They went to captivity. Waenda katika mateka. Not because God hated them. Si kwa Mungu aliwachukia. They went to captivity. Waliye katika mateka. Because of sin. Katika sababu ya dhambi. Kenya could be in their problem. Waliwa katika shida. Not because of God. Si kwa sababu ya Mungu. But because of our system. Ni kwa sababu ya mahali zetu. Of our system. Shughuli zetu. We cannot blame God. Hata mlaumu Mungu. God still loves us. Anatupenda Mungu. And that's why he will come to help us. Na ndipo sasa atakuja kutusaidia. Neighbor God will come to help us. Mungu atakuja kutusaidia. God will come to help us. Mungu atakuja kutusaidia. God will come to help me. Mungu atakuja kunisaidia. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't be afraid. Usiogope. The Lord will come to help you. Mungu atakuja kukusaidia. So in verse number 9. Mstari wa 9. It is an encouragement to us today. Ni himizo letu kwetu. That we can tell God. Tunaweza ambia Mungu. Here I am. Mi, kwa hapa mimi because of my consequences kwa sababu ya hali zangu but i repent lakini natubu and god comes and lifts you up na mungu anakuja na kuinua but the thing he say anasema hivi 
Do not be afraid. Siogope. Because I have not rejected you. Kwa sababu sijawakata. The voices that have come and said God has forgotten you. The voices that have come and says you will never make it. You will. The Lord will give you his grace. The Lord will come through for you. In the name of the Lord. You are not rejected by the Lord. Hallelujah. And Kenya is not rejected by the Lord. Kenya haijakataliwa na Mungu. Yes. Ndio. Hatutaenda Bonyo. We will not go to Bonyo. We will stay Mana around. Mungu wetu atatukumbuka. And our God will remember us. Greet your neighbor there. Tell them yaku. with a smile. Natabasama. Mungu atakukumbuka. God will remember you. Fear not. Usiogope. Why should I not be afraid? Bora nisiogope. Because the Lord tells me in verse 10. Do not fear for I am with you. Fear thou not. For I am with you. You know it it can scare you. It can cause you to be afraid. But you know what? If Let's go back to when we were children. Of course now my son and my daughters they know I'm not the strongest person in the world. I'm not also the richest person in the world. But you know, a couple of years ago. I was that person. Oh my goodness. They believed in me. See ni hey. Niseme mungai. Niseme Bas. One time I'm going to buy Mungai shoes and Nyambura shoes. I'm buying each one two pairs. Nilikuwa nanunulia viatu pea mbili mbili. And I bought. Na nikanunua. There is something else that I never bought. Would you guess? Kuna kitu ambacho sikununua. Hapana. Eh? What else? You are right. Susan, you are right. Uko na ukweli. Yes. Can I tell you what Susan has said? Chips. <laughs> Chips. <laughs> Munga is a lawyer by profession, right? He started practicing law Alianza when he was ya small. Kwa, mdogo. So he became on defense over his sister. Na akaanza kumtetea dada yake. He looked at me at the eye. Akaniangalia kwa macho. He said, "Daddy." Akasema, "Daddy, where are chips?" Chipo ziko wapi? I thought you would understand I said but I bought you two shoes. Nimewanunulia viatu mara mbili. He said you can return one. Unaweza regesha moja. But of course Mungai understands now that uh, sometimes you can have no money. Si ndio? Sasa hivi anaelewa unaweza kosa pesa. Sonko. Mimi. You know Sonko. I was the richest. Kwanza kwanza hii pesa ya ATM unangoa pesa kwa ATM kwa ukuta. You get money from an ATM. You tell you tell my children sina pesa wanaenda enda kwa ukuta. Uitishe huko. Si niliona unaitisha kwa ukuta. We saw you getting it from the ATM go oh, bring it. What what I'm saying is as long as Mungai was his, with his father. Wakati wote alikuwa na baba yake. All worries. Hakuwa na uoga. All worries. Hakuna uoga. Let the father deal with it. Wacha baba ashughulikie. One time we are we we are living thicker with my father. Wakati mmoja natoka thika na baba yangu. And uh, we are going to karate. Tunaenda karate. There was a bus long time ago it was called Thugura. Kulikuwa na bus ilikuwa inaitwa Thugura. Used to go to Javini from Thika. Ilikuwa inaenda Thika to Javini kutoka Thika. Kiambu and so on. Kupitia Kiambu. But the journey would take the whole day. Lakini safari ingechukua siku nzima. So from Thika to Karate Karogoko, the karate which is on Javini side. We took the whole day. So we mm-hmm. got there around 6:30. Nafika saa 12 jioni. And we had to stay in the hotel there the whole night. Tunaishi katika When the business hadith. ended we were left there and it was very cold. Na kulikuwa na baridi sana. But as long as Mr. Francis Mungai was there. Lakini kwa sababu mzee Francis Mungai alikuwa. The whole world is safe. Dunia yote iko salama. Being held by your father. Umeshikiliwa na mzazi wako. No worries. Hakuna kushtuka. No worries. Hakuna uoga. I'm saying being held by God your father. 
Shikishwe no na mzazi worries. wako. Sikuwe na uoga. No worries. Hakuna uoga. I might not have it now. Naweza kosa kuwa nayo. But you wait God is coming. Lakini shukuria Mungu anakuja. I might not know when it will come. Naweza kukuja ikuje. But I have a promise that one of these days. Lakini siku moja tu. He will surprise me. Atanishtua. That's what he is telling Jacob. Alikuwa anambia yuko. Where you are? Pale ulipo. I'm holding you. Ninakushikilia. Salimia jirani yako mwambie pale upo. Where you are? shida uko nayo. With your problems. Bado amekushika mkono. He has held your hand. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amekushika mkono. He is holding your hand. He is holding you. He is holding you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. So when fears would show up. Uoga unapotokeza. As long as I was with my father. Wakati wote nilikuwa na baba yangu. There was no darkness. Hakukuwa na giza. I could be afraid of. Ya kwamba singeogopa. Because I was being held by my father. Lakini nilikuwa nimeshikwa na baba yangu. There is no place we would not go. Hakuna mahali singeenda. Because my father was holding me. Kwa sababu baba yangu alikuwa ameshika mkono. Your God is holding you. Mungu amekushika mkono. Fear not he says. Usiogope. Do not be afraid. Usikuwe na uoga. For I am with you. Kwa sababu niko pamoja nawe. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. He continues to say, fear not. Anasema usiogope. Why? Because I am your God in verse 10 still. Kwa sababu mimi ni Mungu wako. Amazingly. Ya kushangaza. The almighty God. Mungu mkuu. The creator of the universe. Muumba mbingu. He is my God. Yeye ni Mungu wangu. All his power. Nguvu zake zote. All his love. Upendo wake. And blessing. Na baraka. Are there for me. Pia ni zangu. And for you. Na kwako. And we can only go through Jesus Christ. Unaweza pitia kupitia Yesu. The only way. Njia pekee. So that we can draw from God. Ili tuweze kupokea kutoka kwa Mungu. That is ours. Kila ambacho ni chetu. God is my God. Ya kwamba Mungu ni Mungu wangu. Blessed are the people. Wabarikiwe ni wale watu. God is their God. Ambapo Mungu ni Mungu wao. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Yani if God becomes your God. Kama Mungu anafanyika kuwa Mungu wako. Oh, he will give you victory. Atakupatia ushindi. Oh if God becomes your God. Mungu akifanyika kuwa Mungu wako. A story is told in the in the 1950s. Hadithi ikasemwa pale miaka ya 90 na 50. We had not many Christians but they were there who loved the Lord. Hatukuwa na wakristo wengi lakini walikuepo wengine. And there was some group of people called the Mau Mau. Na kulikuwa na Mau Mau. And they did not like Christians. Hawakupenda wakristo. Especially Christians that do not circumcise their girls. Wale ambao hawakuwa wanatairisha wasichana wao. The battle started long. Vita vilianza kitambo. This thing you thought it started the other day started long. Ilianza kitambo. So these people who loved God, wale wao ambao walimpenda Mungu, and they refused even oaths that uh, the kikuyus were giving. Na wakakataa tamaduni ambazo zilikuwa zinapeana na wakikuyu. A story stood of this mzee who was a, who loved God. Kuna mzee huyu ambaye alikuwa amempenda Mungu. And uh, one night the mau mau came for his head. Uh, usiku mmoja mau mau akakuja kumtoa kichwa. Because they had told them we will come on this day to take your head off. So they came. Wakakuja. They were ready to take his head. Walikuwa tayari kuchukua kichwa chake. He told them, akawaambia, "Wait a minute. Ngojeni kidogo. Let me ask the owner. Wacha niulize mwenyewe. Of this head. Wa hii kichwa. What he thinks. Anafikiria nini? So, he closed his eyes. Akafunga macho yake. He lifted up his hands. Akainua mikono. And started praying to God. Akaanza kuomba kuomba kwa Mungu. Immediately he started praying. There was kuomba. some kind of an earthquake. Kulikuwa na mtetemeko. There was some shaking. Kulikuwa na mtetemeko. These guys ran away because they thought the Mzungu has come with a lot of army Wale, for them. Wale dhani Wazungu wamekuja na jeshi kwa ajili yao. Therefore The owner of the head protected this man. I know the situation that the owner of that head of yours has come and helped you. The owner of you has come and helped you. Even when doctors has given up, the owner of that body has come. And he has rescued you. Because he is your God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. May your eyes be opened up. So that you can know uweze kujua what god has in store for you kila ambacho mungu amekuwekea the mighty god mungu mkuu he is my god yeye ni mungu wangu therefore kwa sababu kwa sababu hiyo be afraid sitaogopa whatever mountain whatever obstacle Milima, whatever vizuizi, challenge changamoto zote because god is my god kwa sababu mungu ni mungu wangu hallelujah amen why should i not be afraid bona nisiogope because there are reason for me to be afraid kwa sababu hakuna sababu ya mimi You see God is my God. Mungu ni Mungu wangu. That's okay. Na ni sawa. Then he also says anasema, in the same verse I will uli. strengthen you. Yes. Ni, ni I will help you. Yes. And I'll uphold you. Nitakutia nguvu, nitakusaidia, nitakushikilia. Even if God does not show up. Hata kama hataonekana. 
There is a singer who said, Kuna muimba ya lisema. I have a secret. Mejua siri. Anaimba kawimbo kanaendaka tu hivyo siri tu. Na siri na Yesu. Niko na siri. I have a secret with Jesus. Niko na siri. Niko na siri na Yesu. Anaendelea kuomba akiimba anasema, Ninajua umenitendea miujiza mingi. Nimeona miujiza mingi. I've seen so many Sana. miracles. Na ninajua unaweza tu maneno moja. And I know you can send one word. Na nikapona I'll be here. Ama nikasaidika. And I will be here. Lakini hata kama hautafanya hivyo. Even if you don't do it. Bado nitakuabudu wewe. I will still worship Why you. Why is he confessing that? Mbona nakiri hayo? Because God Kwa sababu Mungu has strengthened his resolve. Amempatia nguvu. Sitamkana Mungu. I will not reject him. Atanipa nguvu. Ameniwe. Atanisaidia. He will give me strength. He will uphold me. Atanishikilia. But perhaps you are crying. Unaweza kunalia. Because of fear. Kwa sababu ya uoga. You are dismayed. Umegumeshushwa moyo. Because things have not been working the way you thought they would. Kwa sababu mambo yametendeka kinyume. Maybe you are going under. Umeenda chini kabisa. And you are saying I cannot make it. Unasema ah siweze nani. He is replying to you. Anakusemezea kisema. Yes. Ndio. But I can and I will help you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. It is like Peter. He is thinking. Anazama. Anazama. He had seen God. But Anazama. You had seen God. Lakini Anazama. You are thinking. He discovered. Akatambua. I have seen God. He will uphold me. And he cries out, Lord help me. And the Lord says, yes I will. And Peter is rescued. So just like Jesus reached out Peter. And he held him by his hand. I can see the hand of God. He wants to uphold you. He wants to lift you up. Allow him to do so. In the mighty name of Jesus. Fear not. Can I tell the guy up there? Since I started preaching, my time has been up. Wakati nilianza kuhubiri, muda wangu liku meisha tu. Hata sasa imeisha. Hata saa hii nasema imeisha. Lakini kiangalia hii saa hapa chini, naona niko na dakika ingine 10. Sasa nitumie hii ama nitumie ile? Nitumie hii. Asante. Tumekubaliana. Na kama watu wamekubali, wawili watatu wamekubali, sasa hiyo ndiyo dini yetu. Hallelujah. Amen. He will. Ataweza. God will. Mungu ataweza. That's why he's telling the Israelites, it doesn't matter where you are as far as your situation is. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you. Another reason why I will not be afraid. Verse number 13. I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you do not fear. I will help you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. The question that I need to ask myself is who is holding my hand? Because if the hand is held by Azimio kama mkono wangu unashika na azimio. na Kenya kwanza. Wewe utaumia. Hapo utazama. You will sink. Kitu tu kimoja azimio na, na, na Kenya kwanza walikubaliana. The only one thing that they, they, they agreed together. Ni kwamba hakuna njaa ya azimio na njaa ya Kenya kwanza. There is no hunger for Kenya kwanza. Njaa ni njaa. Hunger is hunger. Wengine wakaombea Nyayo stadium na wengine wakaombea Jivanji. Others pray that Jivanji ages at Kwa sababu njaa ni njaa. Na haiulizi mtu wewe ni azimio. Oh, wewe ni Kenya kwanza eh? Hamna. Njaa ni hunger is hunger. Sasa wacha nisiingilie huko nisipotee sana. The point that I'm bringing is it doesn't matter where you are. Haijalishi uko wapi. Think of any dangerous situation. Fikiria ile hali ambayo ni hatari. Then think of God who is standing there holding your hand. Fikiria Mungu wako pale anashika mkono anasema. It is okay. Niko sawa. It is okay. Ni sawa. I have got you. Nimekushika. Most likely your fears will disappear. Uoga wako utaisha. Because God is holding you. Again, it is the same story when my father would hold my hand. Even when I would run to my father and hold his hand. Because I know I am safe. I know some of you have. 
go back to God. He will help you. Ama umekimbizwa na vitu. Or things that But God just... wants to help you. Mungu anahitaji kukusaidia. When God says it is okay. Mungu anaposema iko sawa. Who are you to say it is not? Wewe ni nani kusema haiko sawa? Who is that other person who says it it, it is? Nani huyo ambaye atasema When he says he will help me. Akisema atanisaidia. That simply is what is going to happen. Hiyo ndio ambaye itaenda kutendeka. He will help me. At- Oh blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. He will help me. Atanisaidia. Hallelujah. Amen. He tells me. Ananiambia. Something that is going to happen. Kitu ambacho kinataka kutendeka. All who range against you will surely be ashamed. Wale ambao walisoma kinyume wataibishwa. Na watakuwa daibishwa. Because God is holding my hand. Kwa sababu Mungu ameshika mkono wangu. All the enemies. Maadui wako. You will not find them. Hautawapata. Why because God is holding your hand. Kwa sababu Mungu ameshika mkono wako. Those who wage war against you. Wale ambao wananiua vita kinyume. There is nothing at all before you. Hawana kitu mbele yako. Because God is holding your hand. Kwa sababu Mungu ameshika mkono wako. Allow God to take your hand. Wachinya Mungu ashike mkono wako. to take your hand. Muruhusu Mungu ashike mkono. Allow God to take your hand. Muruhusu Mungu akushike mkono. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Verse number 14. Do not be afraid you warm Jacob. Usiogope wewe mdudu Yakobo. Little Israel. Israeli ndogo. I myself. Mimi mwenyewe. Will help you. Nitakusaidia. Declares the Lord. Anatangaza Bwana. You might feel little You might feel lonely. You might feel surrounded by enemies. Who oppose you? Who rage against you? No matter how little you feel yourself to be. No matter what seems to be stalked against you. God cares for you personally. Mungu anakujali wewe kibinafsi. I myself will help you. Mimi mwenyewe Mungu nitakusaidia. You see as captives in Babylon. Pale Babylon. The Jews had no more power against their enemy, the captors. They felt like little warm. But in that condition, the all powerful God comes to them. And tells them, do not be afraid. I myself will help you. So nothing is too difficult for God. So No matter how overwhelming the problem is. It is not difficult to the Lord. But I'm speaking to you. Then you are asking bishop, then what is the problem when I get scared? Again, oh God. Open my eyes. Fungua macho yangu. Oh God. Open my eyes. Fungua macho yangu. So that I can see. Ili niweze kuona. Because you see the biggest problem is what you are seeing. Shida ni kile ambacho unakiona. Because if it is you who is seeing it, kama ni wewe unakiona, then you are done. Umeisha. Bishop Masinde made a comment somewhere. Askofu Masinde akasema hivi. He said, ukimuita ngombe. When you call him a ngombe ama wewe punda. If you call him a donkey. He will not get annoyed. Hata kasirika. No 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 no. Hapana. Because he will tell you the last time he checked himself on a mirror. Atakwambia mara ya mwisho alijengalia kwenye kioo. He was not more. Hakuwa ngombe? No. Hapana. So the more is you. Ngombe ni wewe. And you think everybody is a more. Na unafikiria kila mtu ni ngombe kama wewe. Ngombe ni wewe. Ni ule shiria kwa ni ngombe. Ngombe ni wewe unafikiria kila mtu ni ngombe kama wewe. Are you getting the point? Unapata And you know how we get annoyed. Mtu amekuita ngombe. Unapokasirika mtu akikuita ngombe. Si ukumbuke vile ulijiona kwa kio. Remember how you saw yourself in a mirror. Ulijiangalia ukaona mimi sio ngombe. You saw yourself mimi. Kwanza yeah, ukasema ka. mimi nimebarikiwa. I'm blessed. Ndivyo ulisema ukija, si ndio? Kwa hivyo usikubali kupotea mahali pale. Don't Lakini lost. shida is what you say you are. The problem is what you are saying. Unasema mimi ni nini? You see Moses sends spies 12 of them. Musa anatuma wapelelezi 12 to Canaan. Pale Canaan. So that first of all they can come with a testimony. Ili akuje na ushahidi. Whether that land flows with milk and honey. Ile mji ambao uko na asali na maziwa. So they went. Walienda. And they came back. Na wakarudi. 
it was indeed flowing with milk and honey Ulikuwa na asali na maziwa lakini it is the but that you and I need to deal with lakini ni vita ambavyo tunataka because when God says I should not be afraid Mungu anaposema nisiogope but you have a but there lakini you are canceling that other statement kwamba unaharibu ile mnuku mwingine so they came and told Moses walikuja wakaambia we saw a land flowing with milk and honey tukaona mji ambao uko na asali na maziwa there are also giants there na pia kuna majitu pale and we saw our ourselves as grasshoppers kama panzi in their sight katika macho yao ah salimia jirani yako mwambie nini ndiri gige wewe ni panzi ama mwambie dire nyenje wewe ni nzige mimi hapana nyenje mimi sio nzige ama panzi because the biggest problem ukijiona mende utakuwa mende if you see yourself as a mende you will be a mende na mimi sihubirii mende. And I'm not preaching to cockroaches. Na kama ulijisikia mende ukiingia ukitoka hapa nataka usitoke kama mende. If you came in as a cockroach don't go outside as Kwa a cockroach. Kwa sababu kama ni kuona kwako uliona hivyo. If you saw yourself Mwombe like a Mungu open my eyes. Ask God afunge so macho. I can see. Nini nione? Those that are with us. Wale ambao wako na sisi. Ni zaidi. That I'm not a cockroach. Mimi sio mende. Because of their saying. Kwa sababu ya msemo yao. All the children of Israel were afraid. Wana wa Israeli walikuwa wameogopa. So even when Joshua said no. Yeshua akasema hapana. We hapana. can go. Tunaweza enda. Because enda. God has said it. Kwa sababu Mungu ameisema. He has said he will help us. Anasema atatusaidia. But they were already given up. Walikuwa wamekata tamaa. But God told Moses. Mungu akaambia Moses. Because of this. Kwa sababu ya hayo. Only Joshua and Caleb among them. Yeshua na Caleb tu peke yao. the promised land. Hao watafika katika nchi ya hapo. I'm talking to people here. Naongelesha watu hapa. Pray that we can have a few Joshuas. Tukuwe na Yoshua hapa. And a few Caleb. Na Caleb who looks at themselves ambao wanajiangalia the economy. Na uchumi. And they say yes. Na wanasema ndio. It is flowing with milk and honey. Kuna maziwa na asali. And I'm not a cockroach. Na mimi sio mende. Look at your neighbor. Please encourage them. Mtie nguvu. Wewe sio cockroach. Wewe sio mende. Me I want to preach to people not to cockroaches. Nataka kuhubiria watu sio mamende. And we can see the guys up in the tent there. They they came on the screen and they are not cockroaches. Those are great people. Hao watu sio mende. I say. Amen. Even those that are at home. Hata wale ambao uko nyumbani. But the problem is how do you see yourself? Shida unajiona namna gani? Wengine hapa ukiwa wengine hapa mnajio Hebu niseme hivi. Let me say this. Masomo ni mazuri sana. Education is so good. Kwa sababu kama umesoma si umesoma. Because when you have gone to school, you have gone to school. Na ujue mtu amesoma na hajasoma wanakuwa kwa tofauti. Those ones who have gone to school are not going to school. Jaribu kuandika house technician. Waandike mmoja amesoma mpaka form 4 na mwingine hakufika 3. Employ the two, one in form 4. Utaona tofauti. You will see the difference. Huyu wa 3 atakuwa akishindwa nyumba inapanguzwa kila siku kwa nini? Na haina vumbi. Kwa sababu vumbi hauionagi na macho. That that's why we does, isn't it? Mm. So those things happen. Kwa hivyo kisomo ni kizuri. Mwambie jirani yako kisomo ni kiaga. Education is good. Lakini kuna mtu mmoja alinoki. There was somebody who na nafikiria alikuwa kwa kina Marera huko Kangema. And he was at Alipo kazirika anasema no kisomo ni. He said no. I know there are some people that have finished what I was saying. Kuna watu wamemalizia kile ambacho nilikuwa nasema. Because those days to get hiyo kitu hiyo. Hii si ilikuwa ngumu sana. It was so hard. Eh? Lakini ulijua ukiipata si lazima uwe umesoma. Unatakiwa tu ufike Nairobi. Sababu hakuna mtu alikuja Nairobi bila suruali. I said. There's nobody who could come to Nairobi without trouser re short thank you but the point is this professor ujumbe ni huu and professor has been a professor for long na professor amekuwa professor kwa muda and professor you know there are some guys kuna watu fulani professor they never got first class honors hawakupata ile first class but they are the way of this in this city lakini wao ndio matajiri katika mji huu 
There are some that got first class honors. And they are still making money still. But the majority of people ni wale walianguka, wamenoki. Anasema siwezi anguka madhomo na nianguke gikomba. I say. Are you getting the point? Unapata ujumbe. Dike kwa meri, I cannot fail twice. One is enough. Moja imetosha. When I met Alice, I never interviewed her. Like, by interview. the way, Dada, kizungu ulikuwa umepata ngapi? <laughs> how, how, how did you score in English? Naisabu. In mathematics? Because you see, mm. I did. Kama ningefanya hivu. Then you repata nini yesabu. Then she would have asked me what have I scored in mathematics. This marriage could have not worked. Kwa mimi yesabu, because mimi in mathematics, ilinicheza. Yeye, yeah, yeah. Alicheza. You getting the point? Inamaanisha hivi. It means this. Ile karatasi nilipewa. The paper that I was given. Na mtihani. With the exam. Ni yangu. It is mine. Na ni siri. Na ijaandikwa hapa. It's my secret and it's not written here. Huyo mmekaa nayo umejua amesoma mpaka wapi? Si lazima akwambie. They have to tell you first. Usimwambie. Don't tell him. Allow, you shall know them by their fruit. Allow the fruit to display the splendor of God. Not your education. I, I told the people here, one of the biggest problems is when you want God to do something for you, but you want to, to become sophisticated. Oh God. I'm coming to you. In the name of the Lord. Tafadhali. Tulisoma pahari na Alice, tukasoma na Kikuyu. We read somewhere in Kikuyu. Tafsiri inafika pahari na sema tika wana. Tigo olimu. Wacha ujinga. Wacha ujinga. Hallelujah. Amen. It's okay. Education is good. Na nimesoma by the way. Masomo ni mzuri. Nimefanya masters. Na ni PhD ni enroll lakini ni kaogopa kidogo ni kasema isubiri. Adiri nyeje. I say. Allah. The point that I'm bringing to you is this. Ujumbe mbao na kwambia ni huu. That I should not be afraid. It doesn't matter where I am. Haijalishi ni kwa wapi. Because kwa sababu the Lord my God that God who has redeemed me listen to what he says in, in Isaiah 43 verse 1 to 3a but now this is what the Lord says he who created you Jacob he who formed you Israel do not fear for I have redeemed you I have summoned you by name you are mine when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And you, when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. For I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior or Deliverer. So God is encouraging me today that I will not allow a piece of paper to condemn me. There's somebody passing at your place. And you were just hearing them. And they were annoyed. And they were annoyed by the owner. So he was casting. If you say that here, Haiwezi nishika mimi. That cast cannot follow me. Kwa sababu mimi sijakosea mtu. Because I'm not because a cast a cast spoken with no cause. Ya kwamba laana kuna mbaya na sababu. Hold on to you. Haiwezi kukushika. Na wengine mnasema walisema I have come to tell you. God is saying he wants to help you. Mungu anasema anakusaidia. Even those voices. Who said you will not become anything. Ambaye alisema hautafanyika kitu. God has said he would help me. Mungu anasema atakusaidia. I say mimi Mungu atanisaidia na utaona. Si umwambie jirani yako hata mimi Mungu atanisaidia na utaona. The Lord will help me. You're going to see. 
Mungu atanisaidia na mtume wa Israel. Mtakatifu wa Israeli. Hallelujah. Amen. Another reason why I will not be afraid. Because verse it says in that verse number 1 of 43. Mstari wa 43. That I have created you. In other words, I have formed you. God's love and care Upendo wa Mungu for them that have been here from the beginning wale ambao walikuwa hapo kuanzia mwanzo all the way from creation kuanzia uumbaji because they were formed in their mothers womb before they were created kwa sababu walitengenezwa katika matumbo the world was created kabla ya dunia so god is reminding the israelites mungu anawakumbusha wa israeli i was involved nilihusika oh i like this napenda hii this is not me but i had this visit we were going i had bishop say this nilisikia askofu akisema hii he says god mungu has no watch yeye hana saa so he's not looking at a watch to say bishop bakisha dakika 15 he's not hasemi akama mbakisha dakika he does not know monday tuesday wednesday he doesn't hajui mambo ya siku wiki that is for us hiyo ni yetu we did it for ourselves tulijifanyia sisi wenyewe if you had no date kama haukuwa na tarehe Everything will look the same. Kila kitu kingekuwa sawa. But now we have days. Na kitu kuna siku. Then we, are, we also know there are seasons. Na pia kuna majira. But seasons don't affect God. Lakini majira hayana husumu. They affect you. Zinakuhusu. Majira ya baridi na joto. But then the bishop says this. Askofu akasema hivi. He is alpha. Yeye ni mwanzo. And omega. Na mwisho. Before the alpha was, he is the one who created the alpha. Kabla ya mwanzo yeye alikuwa mwanzo. When he said let there be akasema wacha iwe he will also be after the omega na pia atakuwa mwisho because he is also again going to judge everybody na pia atakuja kuhukumu kila mtu so where is god mungu yuko hapo god is up there ako pale juu god is like google yeye ni kama google you google you are going to kisumu from here from here kutokea hapa he tells you where there is jam all the way in kisumu he will tell you if it is kericho utaonyeshwa damu nyekundu sio kwa sababu gugu wako juu hayuko hapa chini yako juu is up there kwanza anakuambia ngoja nikutafutie jia ile iko rais anaweza kupitisha narok ama kupitisha eldoret ama kupitishie eh, fort tanan unaenda kisumu kwa sababu ye yeah, yako juu anaona is up there and is mungu wetu ako juu ya gugu our god juu. is above gugu ehe hapo naona umeshika sio yeah. alikuona kabla hujazaliwa he saw you before you were meaning four. Hata baba yako na mama yako kabla hawajazaliwa nao aliwaona. Before your mothers were created, Kwa hivyo anaweza enda vizazi vitano huko nyuma. He can go five generations Aliona. back. He saw them. Alafu kutoka hapa anaona vizazi vingine vyote. Anajua wajukuu wako na vijukuu na vitukuu na wote wote wataka ukuja hata wakati utakuepo. He knows all your forthcoming Uyo generations. Huyo ni Mungu. That's God. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Ndipo anamwangalia Ibrahim. Anang, he looks at Ibrahim. Na anamuona 2024 and he sees him in 2024 he sees abraham 2024 and, and he tells him anamwambia abraham ibrahim your children will be like the stars watoto wako watakuwa kama nyota but abraham when he looks at himself ibrahim anapojangalia hata ana katoto kamoja he doesn't have even one may god help you wacha mungu akusaidie to allow god kumruhusu mungu to see you akuone after today Because our biggest problem we are struggle with yesterday. But God is looking at my tomorrow. He's telling Abraham this is what you're going to be. Ibrahim utakuwa hivi. And I've come to tell to you. Nimekuja kuambia. But when God says he's going to help us. Mungu anaposema atasaidia. He's because he's seeing my tomorrow. Kwa sababu anaona kesho yangu. He's not controlled by time. Yeye hazuiliwi na mwanamke. He's seeing my tomorrow. Ameona kesho yangu. He has created us. He has formed us in our mother's womb. Katika tumbo ya mama yetu. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In the same verse he repeats the same thing. Do not fear. For I have redeemed you. You are mine. Nyinyi ni wangu. Fear not I have redeemed you. Yaani ametununua. Wewe ni kitu ya dhamani kwake. Amen. Mimi sio mende. Mimi sio mende. Mwambie jirani yako de mugure. That's normally what they used to say where I come from. De mugure. I have been bought with the blood of Jesus Christ. And I'm speaking to people that I said we are in the same category we are afraid. But God is telling us. Do not fear. For I am the Lord. Your God. I want to finish this sharing by looking at Mark 
chapter number 11 kuangalia mariko 11 i want to kind of wrap it up nataka kumalizia pale mark chapter 11 mariko verse 22 and 24 22 i want to wrap this nataka kumalizia and this is what is happening as the disciples see what god what jesus had done to a tree that they had passed by hii inafanyika wakati wa ufasi wa yesu walipoona and in their conversation peter is giving a testimony petero anatoa ushuhuda when we passed by here there was a tree here but when you cast it can you see it is dry kulikuwa na mti hapa ulipo ulani ukanyauka and the, the, the question is swali ni hili what can happen then nini kitafanyika he tell them have faith in god jesus answered akasema kuenye na imani kwa mungu have faith in god verse 23 Truly I tell you if anyone says to this mountain go throw yourself into the sea and does not doubt in their heart but believes what they say will happen it will be done for them verse 24 therefore i say to you or i tell you whatever you ask for in prayer believe that you have received it and it will be yours the point that jesus is saying <inaudible> the miracle that is going to happen if is for the people who say mujiza utatendeka wale ambao wanasema do you have a mouth je uko na mdomo learn to say jifunze kusema learn to say jifunze kunena fungua mdomo wako na useme ana merudia mara mbili if you say to this mountain and you don't doubt but you say I don't know where your situation is. But I want to encourage you. What the Bible is telling us is to have faith. And then we say. All what we need is to have faith. And then we say. Greet your neighbor again for me. Neighbor. That mountain you are running that fear that you have you need to say something sema kitu rebuke it ikeme in the name of the lord address it thou mountain iseme be thou removed toka na uende it is for those that will say it niko wale ambao watasema do i have people that have a mouth here do i have people that are afraid of something kuna watu wameogopa kitu hapa hata nyinyi ambao mkusema yes najua mnaogopa tu vitu tuingine na wengine hata mnaogopa hiyo mende ninasema ukiiona unaruka gasulu but i'm praying that god would help us naomba mungu atusaidie is it financial mountain je ni mambo ya kifedha is it children that is becoming a mountain because they are difficult je ni watoto ambao wanakuwa mlima do you have some mountain in your marriage and relationship uko na mlima katika ndoa is it in your employment Where is that mountain? Mlima uko wapi? The Bible is telling us. Biblia inatuambia. Have faith in God. Kuwa na imani kwa Mungu. It remember do not fear Usi because ogopi. of the many reasons that I have given you. Kwa sababu nyingi ambazo nimekupea. Because God is saying. Sasa Mungu anasema. He will help me. Atanisaidia. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Oh the temptation that I have majaribu niko nayo ni majaribu mengi sana ni mengi sana so many temptations thou shall not tempt your brother and your, and your sister too si mjaribu ndugu yako but it is a temptation still lakini jaribu hili can i ask all the ministry teams and pastors to come here ningeomba wahuduma na wachungaji waje hallelujah hata mkujeni hapa juu kama hata nyinyi mko huko na wale wako nje mkuje tu wale mko strategic huko kujeni tu just come over i know we are afraid of something najua tumeogopa kitu but i want to release an anointing with this oil there is a oil somewhere that sometimes i see nataka kuachilia upako fulani and i want to release it among this wonderful team nataka kuachilia kwa hii kikundi and i want them to come to you na ningependa waje kwenu if you are afraid Because God is telling you not to be afraid. And he is telling you not to fear. That you receive this grace and anointing. Not to be afraid. In the name of the Lord. Don't be afraid. Don't be scared. And don't be dismayed. Hallelujah. Oh blessed be the name of the Lord. So I will anoint them. 
and they will come to you. Here, if you are just scared or afraid, go to the Lord. And I want us to stand up. Let's be in a mood of prayer. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I'm praying for myself. Lord, I know I know I have this thing that is causing me to be afraid. But because your word tells me not to be afraid and not to fear that I'm going to receive an anointing today that will dispel fear and raise boldness into me. In the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Receive this anointing. And as you anoint others, may they receive the same anointing. Not to be afraid, not to be scared. In the name of the Lord. Receive this anointing. And as you anoint others, may they receive the same grace. Of not being afraid. In the name of the Lord. Receive this anointing. In the name of Jesus. And as you anoint others, may they receive the same grace. Not to be afraid. Or to be afraid. And not to fear. In the name of the Lord, receive this anointing. And as you anoint others, may they not be afraid and be scared. In the name of the Lord, receive this anointing. In the name of the Lord, and as you anoint others, may they not be afraid or scared. In the name of the Lord, receive this anointing. In the name of Jesus, and as you anoint others, may they receive the same anointing. In the name of the Lord, Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I also receive this anointing in the name of the Lord. And I know that you are here. I know, I know, I know. Why I know? Because I'm with you. Uh, we are scared and afraid of things. So I'll allow the ministry team to come. They will come all over. If you are not afraid or scared, just stay. But if you are, come. But I want you to sit down. I want you to angependa kuombewa hiyo uoga na ambayo alio nayo wengine msimame hapa wengine watakuja kule tutaanza kuwaombea katika jina la Yesu All right oh, okay as you go they will just hold their hands because I, uh, something technical has happened so they have received the anointing, their hands are anointed. So if you come, they will hold your hands, receive that anointing also. It is not prayer, you're just receiving that anointing in the name of the Lord. So if you are coming, just come. If you're not, just stay. Just watch, uh, stay where you are, but let others receive this grace today in the name of the Lord. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus. There is power mighty. This anointing is for you. If this anointing is for you, the ministry team are all over. There are some in the tent. Others are on the veranda there. And others are here. You can queue. It is not prayer. It's just hold their hands. Because if you keep on praying, it will take too long. Just hold their hands. Release that grace to them. In the name of the Lord, release that grace to them. In the name of the Lord. As you come receive, come pray. Come believe in God. Come tell in God this Sunday, the 4th of uh, February, my fears and worries, I will not be afraid of them. Ninazitumbukiza katika kaburi ya sahau na nitaenda na ujasiri nitapata ushindi katika biashara yangu, katika familia yangu, katika maambo yangu ya usoni. Hata wale wameogopa kwamba kazi hatujapata kwa muda mrefu. Hebu Mungu akufungulie njia. Hebu huu pako uwe ni wa kukufungulia njia katika jina la Yesu Kristo na ukipokea huyo upako rudi katika kiti chako kaa chini tulia mwambie Mungu hivyo ndivyo ilivyo continue praying continue thanking God continue praying and believing God and telling him those areas that you are afraid of that God will come through for you in the name of Jesus bless the be the name of the Lord Just declare a blessing as you hold their hands. Not long prayers, but just hold their hands and declare and release. Release, 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 release in the name of Jesus. 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 Release in the name of Jesus. Release, release, release in the name of Jesus. And receive it and when you go back to your seat, thank God. Umshukuru Mungu 
uinue jina lake na umwamini amekupa ushindi kutoka uoga na hofu za maisha haya katika jina la Yesu katika jina la Yesu hii tutafanya upesi upesi dakika tano sita hivi hii tutakuwa tumeimaliza in the next two minutes in the next two minutes in the next two minutes i think will be done in the name of jesus 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 rakota karimaru kasikiribira rakaba babu saku rekimira rakaba babu santu Riki bisi kiri mi murandu kurubusa Raka baba muburindu kusikiri bi Raka mama mamurandu kurubu Uriki mi muranda kasakaraba In the mighty name of Jesus there is power